It's a classic. So I've already made the pattern for the Sailor Fuku and in the description below I have a tutorial that I wrote about how I made the duct tape patterns. You can find it in the description like I said. And we're gonna cut this out of the spandex. So this is the back and I cut out two pieces because this is Joanne's spandex. So it's pretty thin and I don't want people to see my underwear. So I cut out two and I'm just gonna sew them together along the bottom and the side and I'm gonna keep the arms and the very top open so I can add things to it. I'm really tired. Alright, so once you're done, it should look ooh, excuse me. Something like this. With the tops open, like I said. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna just sew the sides of each piece together, so like uh, I lost it. There it is. So like these two together. If you're having any trouble sewing spandex, you can look up tips that I give in my hot girl unitard tutorial. Because I'm not going to go over all of that in this one, but go ahead and go over there if you have any troubles. Okay, so I have the main part of the unitard all sewn together, and I put it on to the best of my abilities right now, and it fits. So we're going on to the next step. So this is my full scale pattern, and if you looked at the tutorial, you'll see that right here, there's a line that I drew. And that is for Sailor Mars's um, rust plate. So I'm just gonna make it out of the spandex so that it'll match and look like what it does in the anime. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna cut along that line and then put it onto my spandex and cut it out. So now I just have this piece. And I'll go right here. And I also have the back piece. So here's the press plate. I did it the exact same way I did the other part of the fuku except on the bottom of this I stay stitched it so that it wouldn't roll under and it actually has the little bumps on the bottom underneath the breast. And now I'm just going to attach it to the other part of the fuku. And I'm going to actually show you guys that. So first, you're going to turn them both inside out, like I've already done, and you're going to stick, actually I'm going to flip this, you're going to stick the breastplate inside. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take these parts and you're going to pin them together and you're going to sew those. When you're done, it should look something like this. You want to leave some space around the collar and the sleeves so that you can put the sailor collar and the puffed up sleeves onto it because we're going to need to fold those over. So when you turn it inside out, it should look something like that. Oops. I mean something like this. <laughs> So what we're going to do next is we're going to make the puffed up sleeves. And for this version of Sailor Mars that I'm making, I've got three puffs that I have to make. Whereas on the Super Sailor Mars, there's only two. 
Um, what I'm going to be doing is I've got this newspaper and I'm going to put it over here and then just mark with this marker where it goes, where the little patches of puff go. And um, I guess I'll show you in more detail once I have it done. Okay, so this is the beginning of my pattern and I'm going to mark it and just cut that. But what I basically did was I just cut around for an arm and then I pinned the newspaper to it as you can see. And now I'm just going to So for these sleeves, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut on the fold. That means that your fabric's going to be folded over and we're going to put the side that's going to be facing out and that people are going to see on the fold and then this side will sew onto the actual costume. So we're going to pin this down and cut it out. So I, so I am going to cut from here to here so that I can have a nice amount of seam allowance because we're going to need it for this. Okay. So we're going to sew here until about here because we're going to want some open space because we're going to sew straight seams right through here and we're going to stuff them but we need an open spot so we can get the stuffing in. And then once you stuff this first one here, which will be back in here, you're going to close it, stuff the next one, close it, stuff the next one. Once you get it all done and fluffed up, you're going to put it on, and I would suggest starting here, so like that's the top seam, and then pin it, and then pin around until you get to here, and then these two end pieces should overlap, so you're not going to want to stuff it all the way to the end just to about here. And then you're just gonna uh, zigzag stitch all the way around. You should sew it on so that the sleeve is inside out. And once you do it, you should just be able to pop it into place. So there are the sleeves. For the sailor collar pattern, I just put newspaper up against my dress form and cut it to the shape that I wanted. And then I just cut it in half, the one that I like the most, that way I know for a fact that it's going to be symmetrical. So we're going to also cut this one on the fold, and this will be the fold. So you're going to cut out two collars. And on one of them, on the right side, you're going to take some bias tape for the stripe. And Sailor Mars only has one stripe, but for these versions, some of the other Sailor Scouts have multiple stripes. So depending on what Sailor Scout you're doing, you might have to adjust it. But either way, for the collar, you're going to want to leave some room for some seam allowance. And I'm going to put my, so like this, and I'm going to put mine right here. So, I got the 
stripe on, and now this is going to be the right side. So you're gonna put the right sides together, and you're gonna sew along the outer edge so that you can flip it from the next side. So once you're done, it should look like this. Um, I top stitched it so it'll lie flat, otherwise it's kind of poofy, and I know earlier I said on the breastplate that you should stay stitch it. What I meant to say was top stitch. This is the first day I've done this and not been half asleep. So top stitch breastplate and the collar. So to attach the collar to the bodysuit, you're going to put it inside and you're going to make sure that the stripe is facing the back. So you want to see this when you stick it in. And then you'll pin the top to the top and then you'll go all the way around. Alright, so my collar is all sewed on. What you're going to do is you're just going to You might have to like stretch it to get it all to fit right, but this is, it should look really similar to this. And then you don't have to worry about if there are any threads sticking out or loose ends because you're going to put, you can clip them if you want, but we're going to put a bow here, which will be a separate tutorial. So the next thing I'm going to go on to do is the skirt. So the first thing we're going to do for the skirt is make the hip roll that goes over the top of the skirt. And this is my pattern for it, and we're going to cut it out on the spandex the exact same way we cut out the sleeve cuffs. So now that you have these, you should cut a V into them, and then sew them together. So sew the Vs together. Once you have the middle piece sewn, you're going to fold them over, and you're going to pin them together. And then you're going to sew through. So you, and you're gonna leave some space so you can stuff it just like we did with the uh, sleeves. But this time we're only doing one poof. So once it's all stuffed, you can learn to the actual skirt. So what I'm doing for the skirt pattern is I'm pinning newspaper around it where I want the um, skirt to be sewn to, if that makes sense. And then when I get to the end of the newspaper, I'm taping more newspaper to it, and then I'm just cutting it to the length that I want. Of course she has to back it. And then I'm heating it. And I'm just laying it out like this, and it doesn't have the pleats in the pattern anymore. That was just to make sure that it was the right length. So we're going to cut the front and the back out of the red fabric, and then I'll show you guys how to pleat it. Okay, once you have all your pieces cut out, you're going to sew the seams together. And then I pinned mine to my dress form, and it should be bigger. If it's smaller, you need to go back to the steps and see what you did wrong. Now I'm going to start pleating it. And this is just to make sure, I have it on here just to make sure that um, it's going to fit right once I'm done pleating it. And so basically I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with my pattern. Once you have your pleats pinned into place, you need to iron them down. Make sure that your iron is set on a setting that will work with your fabric, otherwise some fabrics will melt. So we're just going to... 
And there's a nice pleat. Keep them pinned down, at least at the very top, because we're going to need them to be pinned still. So this is a real stay stitch. It just keeps the pleats in place. And you would do the same thing with ruffles if you were making ruffles. So you just sew around it and that would be your next step. And now, we're going to pin these two together and sew them on. So I put the fubu on and I pinned where I wanted the different parts of the uh, skirt to go. And now I'm just gonna now I'm just going to slip this in and flip the skirt and pin it. Once you have the skirt attached, the last thing to do will be to close up the bottom with snaps. So these two you're gonna put snaps in them so they lay like this. Once the snaps are on, your costume is done. Sorry this tutorial has been so jumbled and frantic. If you have any questions and or are confused about anything, please leave me a comment below or on any of my other social media that I've linked. Below, I've linked my duct tape pattern tutorial, a tutorial on how to make pleats the right way, um, and I've linked Cupcake Cosplay's tutorial for Fuku's, as well as Acceleration Cosplay's. She used to be Kill Productions, it's Acceleration Cosplay now. So, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays!